My name is Karen Hellaby. I'm a teacher in patchwork and quilting from England. I'd like to introduce you to the fifth of my So Simple series books. This one is called So Simple Pinwheels. I'm going to be showing you how to make a block which is called curved pinwheels and is just one of the techniques in this book. In all my books, I like to have one technique on two facing pages and the diagrams right next to the text. So it's very, very easy for you to understand. Now to have a look at one of the actual quilts in the book. This quilt has been made by one of my staff, Kathleen Kerr, and it shows you the pinwheel block I'm about to demonstrate. The pinwheel block can actually be made with these corners but we decided that in this particular quilt, the corners should form the border. The quilt behind me has been made by Erica Ransom from North Carolina. And you can see again the curved pinwheel block, but this time the corners have been incorporated into the block. And where the blocks meet, a Suffolk puff has been sewn onto the join. And that makes a very, very attractive quilt too. The curved pinwheel block is the second block from my new book, So Simple Pinwheels. You can see here that the blades are curved on two of the blades and the other two blades are straight. I'll show you why in a minute. We start off with two squares of contrasting fabric. The squares are exactly the same size. You take the pinwheel fabric and simply fold it in half into a triangle right sides out. This is now going to be placed onto the background fabric, making sure that the raw edges match. When this is pinned into place, I then simply stay stitch it by running a straight stitch an eighth of an inch from the raw edge down one side and along the second side. This helps to trap the two fabrics together. When you open this up, it looks a little bit like a pocket. I'm now going to cut this into two by making one cut through the center here vertically. This is what it then looks like. Now for this particular block, I'm going to remove this piece and use this later and instead I'm going to put a rectangle of plain background fabric into place. These two units are going to be stitched together just by running a simple seam down one side. And when you then open it up and press it, you have the pinwheel unit. I then trim one side to make a square. And when I have the four squares ready, I simply position them into place. Now it's not until you stitch these together that you can actually do the curved pinwheel. You then stitch together and once the, the pinwheel blades are stitched together, you can see how you can just simply curve this over or simply curve it under and this creates your nice curved blades. The pieces that I removed and placed the plain rectangle can be made into a border for the quilt. Here's one border that I've used and you can see the individual units here. There are four sewn into a row and here's another example of a border that can be used. So with this particular block, there is no wastage whatsoever. I hope you've enjoyed the demonstration of the So Simple Pinwheels curved pinwheel block. I'd like to also show you the other four books in the series. We have So Simple Logs here, So Simple Attic Windows, which has a revolutionary way of doing attic windows with one seam only. And then we have the pineapple book, which has been extremely popular, a unique technique to me, and its follow-up book, Pineapple Plus. Do look for those in your local quilt shop. Thank you.